So if we had a question like, if I had 230, let's pretend we don't have anything above there. If I had 234 grams of hydrogen, oh, sorry, of grams of water, how much hydrogen could I get from that? Well, the first thing I want to know is what's the molar mass of water? What's the molar mass of hydrogen? Um, because in this case, we were talking about target and um, target and known substances before. The known substance is the water, the target substance is the hydrogen. So by, we worked out that the, the molar mass of water is, so MR of, <laughs> of water is, is 18 grams, uh, 2 times 1 plus 16. And the MR of um, of hydrogen is just two grams. It's what it's. You can see here why it'd be a quite good habit to get into of writing the formula instead of the word because it reminds me to always multiply it by two. Um, so the molar mass of that is two grams. Okay, so that's just useful information. The next bit of useful information is to write the equation that would actually happen, and that would be. Um, how much could I get from? So we're talking about H2O reacting to produce H2 and O2. Let's just zoom in on this a little bit. Um, and then we then we have to balance it because so far that, that equation isn't true. It's not correct because what it's saying at the moment is that one mole of water would produce one mole of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen. Well, that's not true because you can see just by the numbers, they don't add up. So we have to balance it to make it true. So now it's balanced. And now we can say that equation tells me that if I had two moles of water, it would produce two moles of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen. Now we're only interested in the water and the hydrogen. And that's uh, one to one, right? So the water and the hydrogen is one to one. That's going to make our life a bit easier because whatever amount of moles of one thing we've got, we're going to, it's going to be the same for the other thing because it's one to one. So now we go, if I had, so now we go back to the question and we say, right, so what's it actually asking us? Now we've got the, the molar masses, we've got the balanced equation. It's saying if I had 234 moles of water, how much ox, uh, hydrogen would I get? I know, I know if I had one mole of hyd water, I'd have one mole of hydrogen, of hydrogen. How many moles of water do I actually have? Well, the moles is going to be equal to um, the molar mass divided by the divided by, hang on a sec, I got that wrong, haven't I? The mass divided by the molar mass, isn't it? Yeah. The mass divided by the molar mass. So the mass that they've given us is 234 grams. I'm going to just make my notes a bit clearer here. Moles of water. 234 grams divided by the molar mass of water, which is 18. We already done this anyway, so we know the answer is going to be 13 moles. Using the balanced equation, we say, therefore, have you come across the three dots before? There's three dots, which means therefore. So therefore, 13 moles of, of hydrogen. So we're one step closer. We know we want to know the mass of hydrogen. We've all, now we've worked out the moles of hydrogen. We just got to work out what mass of that would be. 13 moles of hydrogen, which would be equal to 13 times the molar mass of hydrogen. I'm just going to write it here just so that I can read my notes properly later on. Okay. Have I done something wrong there? No. Okay. So that's. 26, hang on a second, did I do that right? 26 grams. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? That's just something. The, the, so, so that, so that would be how you would actually answer it, okay? But, and that all makes sense to you now, I guess, yeah? But it makes sense because we picked it apart beforehand and then we did the question. So what I want you to do is have another go at those questions sooner rather than later. Rewatch those videos if you need to. Right? And let me just um, stop this.